red or blue. And thanks to this perfect overhead projector, the colors show. <laughs> and now I would like you to focus on the 20 triangles. That's a laborious job, but uh, you notice that there are two types of triangles. There is, for instance, FAC, yeah, which has a blue edge, a blue edge, and a red edge. And that's what I, well, that's what I call a bichrome triangle. Yeah, its sides don't all have the same color. Uh, if I look at A B D A, you see that all its sides are red. That's what I call a monochrome triangle. And if you are lucky, you see a second monochrome triangle, also all red. Yeah. Uh, I tell you, these are the only ones in this in this coloring. Yeah. Uh, of course, if I had made all edges red, then I would have t 20 monochrome triangles. Yeah. Now the theorem that I'm going to prove is that no matter how you color the edges, there are at least two monochrome triangles. Uh, here is my illustrations of my terminology. Uh, there are two types of monochrome triangles, all red and all blue. And uh, there are two types of bichrome triangles, uh, mostly red and mostly blue. And in the example, the only mon that I showed, the only monochrome triangles were the red A, B, D, and A. This is a summary. I can remove this. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Now, the uh, combinatorial problem or solution uh, proceeds in two stages. First of all, uh, we establish the uh, existence of one monochrome triangle, and after we've done so, then of the second one. Now, the, exam the, the argument for one monochrome triangle is the following. Uh, focus your attention on node X, because there are five other nodes, five edges meet in X. Since there are only two colors, at least one color occurs at least three times, say red. So there are th we now consider the situation that there are three red edges meeting in X. Now, call the other endpoints A, B, and C. And focus your attention on triangle A, B, and C. If it's all blue, we have found a monochrome triangle, a blue ABC. If they are not all blue, triangle ABC has a red edge, say AC. But if AC is red, then we have found a monochrome XAC. So under all circumstances, if we have only two colors, we have found the existence, we have demonstrated the existence of a monochrome triangle. Everybody agrees? Yeah, you should agree because the next argument is more complicated, you see. <laughs> uh, now we are going to show the presence 
of a second monochrome triangle. Uh, well, the argument starts as follows. I say, well, we have already, we know already that there is at least one monochrome triangle. Let it be red. We mark its three endpoints with A's, its three vertices, and the other th three points we marked with B's. The original text, by the way, in which uh, I found this argument, marked the three uh, edges by A1, A2, A3, and marked the remaining one, named the other one, with B1, B2, B3, and uh, <coughs> carried these meaningless uh, arguments all over the place. Now, here we are. I said, let it be a red monochrome triangle, call its nodes A, mark the other three nodes B, and this implies there are three types of edges. There are AA edges, AB edges, and BB edges. There are three AA edges, and they are all red. There are three BB edges, and we don't know. And there are nine AB edges. Yeah? Because each of the three A's can be connected to each of the three B's. The three squared is, is still nine. Now, uh, now I come with a case analysis. Uh, and you should read that as follows. If is an opening bracket, first situation, a conclusion, here is a separator, second con alternative, here is a conclusion, and then phi is the closing bracket. That's the way uh, here P holds, and here non-P holds, and here I conclude something, and there I conclude something. Yeah? And I do that nested. Here is my outer alternative. And the two cases is, there is a B with something, and there is no B with that same thing. Yeah? Now, the first case I'm considering is, that, considering is that there is a B where two red ABs meet. Yeah? There is a... Look, look at this configuration, yeah? Now, if there is a B where two red AB edges meet, then I have found my second monochrome triangle. Because the assumption is that the A, all AA edges are red. So if, if there is a B where two <coughs> red AB edges meet, then I found a red... AAB. That's my second. Yeah? This is a situation that uh, m the second monochrome triangle shares an edge with the first one. Yeah? Uh, that, by the way, was the situation in the example I showed. The, the, very the very first example. Uh, here I have one red one, and here I have another red one.